Some of the most world-changing battles and conflicts of World War II took place throughout Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, and the Mariana Islands. On July 26, 1945, USS Indianapolis, an American naval ship, completed a secret mission, the delivery of components for the atomic bomb. The delivery was made to the Northwest Pacific Island of Tinian. With the ship's mission complete, Indianapolis and her crew of nearly 1,200 sailed south to Guam. A few days later, the ship began its voyage towards Leyte, Philippines to begin a training mission. Just after midnight on July 30th, 1945, the unescorted Indianapolis was hit by two of six torpedoes fired from an Imperial Japanese Navy submarine. Within several minutes, the Indianapolis sank, taking with her approximately 300 men. Of the nearly 800 sailors left stranded in the open waters of the Philippine Sea, little more than 300 would survive. Circled by sharks, with little fresh water and provisions, over the next several days, about 500 perished from heat, dehydration, drowning, and shark attacks. On the fourth day, a Navy plane spotted the remaining survivors and radioed for help. A seaplane arrived at the location, dropping life rafts and supplies. When the Navy pilot saw sharks attacking the men, he violated orders and landed in the waters to save as many as possible. The survivors were transported to the Naval Hospital in Guam to begin their recovery. As a result of this tragedy and many factors that led to the delays in rescue, the Navy learned from this experience and made improvements in ships tracking and reporting procedures, which are still used today. Join us as we walk through the history of a war that changed the world 75 years ago. In the coming months, we will honor and pay tribute to those who lived and suffered through the war and those who died. We will hear stories of bravery and resilience and of the legacy that has come from it.